In this video, I'll show you how to lint a public workspace and create a custom style guide for your team. I'm currently in Stripe's public workspace, and I'm going to get the domain for the Stripe team. You can see in the URL, it's in the path, it's Stripe Dev. So I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard and move over to this collection called Public Workspace Linter. Now I already have their domain populated here, but you can see that there's gonna be a series of checks to make sure that everything is uniform and consistent according to the rules that I set up in the assertions. So make sure you save your changes if you update your domain, and then we'll run the collection. So we open up the runner tab and we run the workspace linter. And you can see all the requests that are running along with the checks. And if I scroll to the bottom, I can see that Stripe Dev domain achieved seven out of nine possible points. And if I want more details, I can open up the console and see that I need to filter on the failed test to see how I can improve. So let's close the console and filter on the failures. And I can see that there's probably some more improvements I can do with my profile bio and links. Okay, let's go to a different workspace example now. So here is Meta. Again, I'm gonna get Meta's domain in the URL. Go back to my workspace linter. Go back to my configuration setup, which is going to be in the collection variables. And instead of Stripe Dev, I'm gonna update my current value to Meta. I'll save my changes, and then I'll return to the runner and run it again. So now I'm running against meta domain. You can see the requests, the assertions, and if I scroll all the way down, I can see meta has actually achieved nine out of nine possible points. So this is how you can lint your public workspace according to the um, assertions that Postman has set up. And you can take a look at what Postman is checking by looking under the pre-request script and tests tabs. You can see the assertions here. But if you wanna create your own custom linter, say you want all of your um, request names in a collection to be title case. That's not the case here, so this should fail. If you wanna add further checks, you can go ahead and update this collection by adding your own custom assertions, or you can add new requests that have um, different assertions for different items that you want to lint. Let us know what your favorite linting rules are and if you're using this public workspace linter. Okay.